Welcome to Dashi Science, where our goal is to make science simple. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. Forces are all around you, and they play a big role in making objects move. In this video, we're going to cover forces and where we see them in the world around us. A force is simply a push or a pull that one object exerts on another object. The SI unit for measuring force is the Newton, which is abbreviated with a capital letter N. Forces are important because they can change an object's motion. In general, forces cause objects to accelerate. This means that forces can cause an object to speed up, slow down, or change direction. When looking at the forces acting on an object, we're not always going to have just one force present. Many times we're going to have two or more forces acting on the object. When this happens, it is important to look at the net force. The net force is just the sum of all the forces acting on the object. When we have multiple forces acting in the same direction, we're going to add them together. And when we have multiple forces acting in the opposite direction, we will subtract them. Let's look at an example here with a wooden block. Here we can see that the wooden block is being pushed with 100 newtons going towards the left and 50 newtons going towards the right. Because these forces are acting in opposite directions, we can subtract them. 100 minus 50 is going to be 50. And because more of the force is going to the left, we know this box is going to move to the left. So when we calculate the net force, we would just say that it is 50 newtons to the left. When looking at the net force, we can also determine whether the forces acting on an object are balanced or unbalanced. Balanced forces are forces that are equal in size and opposite in direction. There will be no change in motion because the net forces will be zero. Unbalanced forces are forces that are not equal in size or opposite in direction. When the forces are unbalanced, there will be a change in motion because the net force will not be zero. Here are examples of balanced and unbalanced forces. Here we see an example of balanced forces. We see 300 newtons being pulled to the left and 300 newtons being pulled to the right. These are equal in size at 300 newtons and they are being pulled in opposite directions. If we were to subtract these numbers, we would get zero newtons, which means that we have a net force of zero. This is another reason we know the forces are balanced. And here we see an example of unbalanced forces. We see 300 newtons being pulled to the left, but only 100 newtons being pulled to the right. These are not equal in size, even though they are opposite in direction. If we were to subtract these numbers, we would get 200 newtons to the left, which means that we'd have a net force that is not zero. This is how we know they are unbalanced. When looking at forces, we can always look at a force that is applied by you or I. However, there are other natural forces at play. Three important forces to consider are friction, air resistance, and gravity. All three of these forces can act to change an object's motion. Friction occurs when one object is in contact with another object. Friction works to slow objects down. Air resistance is a force that objects experience when they move through the air. Essentially, this is air molecules pushing against the object to slow it down. And then gravity is just the attraction of one object to another. So on Earth, gravity is the attraction of one object to the Earth. It is a force that will pull objects towards the Earth. On Earth, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. This means that all objects, regardless of their mass, will accelerate downward at the same rate. So if I drop a 10 pound weight and a 50 pound weight from the same height at the same time, they will hit the ground at the same time because they have the same acceleration. Remember this value as it will be important later when we talk about Newton's second law. Now you know what a force is and how to calculate the net force. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us be able to produce more helpful science content. If there is a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.